We've all heard it before. Create React app is dead. But maybe that's not true, according to this new study. Let's talk about it. What's up, everyone? My name is James Q. Quick. I do weekly videos about web development related topics. And a lot of what I do, a lot of what I pay attention to is React. I think there's no denying React is the most dominating front end framework. And then you can argue like hybrid and, and back end with Next.js and all these things. But the most dominant front end framework and the, the typical choice for new companies creating new projects or just companies creating new front end projects. So React has been around now for years. Again, it's taken a pretty dominant position. I'm also a big fan of frameworks like Svelte. Um, and I guess that's the, an Astro and a few others, but I am also at my core pretty big into React. So it was really interesting to me when I came across this article from Netlify that talks about the framework popularity on Netlify. And you would think based on the way we talk about things on Twitter, we talk about create React app being dead that it would be like much lower in the in the usage. And so let's just get right to it. The really interesting thing on here is that Create React app makes up 40% of sites compared to 14% for Next, 8% for Gatsby, which means the top three items are React based. And I'll have to do the numbers on here. I think that's 62% of all of projects on Netlify use React. Again, kind of verifying the dominance of React, you don't even see Svelte on here, which is really interesting. But this begs the question, is Create React app dead? If you look at these numbers and in comparison to Next.js, it's kind of dominating. And I think the answer is yes, Create React app is still dead. In fact, if you go to the React docs and you scroll all the way down to like add React to your page, not that one, that's just like React DOM, but get started with a framework, they recommend uh, Next.js, they recommend Remix, they recommend Gatsby, which totally makes sense, I think, for the future. And personally, I would never use Create React App again. But some things to consider here is Create React App has been the go-to tutorial for many, many years. So there's tons of probably just like dummy tutorial sites deployed on Netlify for people following tutorials. That's probably part of it. And also, I think Next.js has this learning curve that some people just haven't made the choice to get into. It took me a while to get into Next.js versus just regular React. So I think that's like a... It's a little bit of a hurdle. It's a well worth it hurdle, in my opinion, but I think it is still a hurdle to get into Next.js. And I think another thing to consider is Vercel, which is the parent company. It's a hosting platform competitor to Netlify, also the parent company of Next.js. I think it's likely to assume that more Next.js projects are deployed to Vercel because of that connection and because of those integrations than to Netlify. That's not to say that Netlify can't support Next.js at a very high level but it's not Vercel, meaning they have that intimate connection. So I think those are a few different reasons why these numbers seem to be like so out of whack and don't seem to follow the idea of the trend that Create React App is dead. But again, Create React App is not something I'm using anymore. I will always go with Next.js. I haven't used Gatsby in several years, but I know it's done a lot to get a lot better as well. But there's just so much in these frameworks that I would rather have and take advantage of than not have them with Create React App. Now, the interesting thing, though, for pure beginners in React, I could imagine that starting with Next.js is OK, but I would also imagine like starting with Create React App is a little simpler because you have less going on that you have to worry about and understand. Although I think that learning pattern will change and more people will start with just Next.js, but there is more that you have to understand just to get started and create a basic component. Maybe not much. I'm actually curious what you all think. And maybe my opinion will change on that. But I think there is a little bit more. There's a little bit more of a hurdle. But that said, I still think Create React App is dead. But don't forget that it has a significant history of very big usage, which kind of accounts for these numbers here. But I think the more I wonder if they have like a stat where they can kind of get rid of things that get zero traffic, basically, and, and compare that way. I wonder if that would help kind of skew these numbers a little bit more to what we expect. But I'm curious, are you still using Create React App? Do you default like I do to Next.js or Gatsby? I haven't used it in a while, like I said, or Remix or something like that. I assume that's most likely the answer, but I thought it was really interesting to kind of reflect on the stats that they have uh, from Netlify. So let me know in the comments below what you think, what you do, how you react to this graph. And thanks for checking out the video. I'll catch you in the next one.